Good afternoon, Poggy Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 10 video. Continuing with a new team that we have for you guys today. We have a whole o team. Now, Zation has been tearing the ladder up and making games very annoying. I can't complain because I brought Zation to the Joe UX9 League, along with a lot of other people. But we got a Zation counter here, folks. We have the ho oh with safety goggles just so I can avoid any Among Us shenanigans or any, you know, anything that puts you to sleep. Venusaur is I can avoid as well, which is like a very annoying thing for ho oh. So let's see what it does. It is kind of weak to intimidate. I understand that. But the rest of the team will help that out a little bit. We have the Naganadel, which wasn't my first choice. I actually wanted to do like a Bisharp Gengar situation. But then I thought to myself, Naganadel is just better Gengar. It, it's literally better Gengar. And with Choice Scarf, you'll put out speed otherizations, which is nice as well. I also have the Grimson on this team kind of as the defensive Mon, sets up screens, etc. I also have the Landorus, just another thing to deal with Zacian, but and also on top of that, Landorus incarnates such a great Pokemon in this format because things can't Dynamax and all the Steel Pokemon running around are super scared of this Mon, which makes me very happy as well. And finally, as I mentioned before, we got the Bisharp, we got the Blue Power Ranger there for the assurance because, you know, the whole Sludge Wave assurance thing. I hope I get to, you know, do it in this, like, set of battles. If not, I'll definitely do it in the next episode. Um, and to top it all off, we have Rillaboom here at the end. Fake Out Core, Grassy Pokemon, deals with Groudon, which is all I really need. And, uh, yeah, that's the team. We'll see what happens. If you guys are excited, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokey Sports if you haven't done so already for more VGC Series 10 content. I know. I know. I watched the BDSP slash Pokemon Legends trailer. Looks like we're staying on Swish for a while, guys. So get used to this content. <laughs> Let's get on to these battles. Speak of the Groudon. Here we have a Groudon. This is the third time in a row I'm facing Groudon on this channel. I don't like it. But anyway, we do kind of have ways to deal with it. I'm not too terrified, even though I should be since my whole team is low-key weak to ground. Um, I do still have the Rillaboom, which is a must-bring for this game. They also have the Rillaboom slash Driftbloom combination with the Tailwind. That's a little bit irritating, but we're going to have to deal. Um, even a Lecky is really irritating. Th this whole team is irritating, if I'm going to be entirely honest. I'm going to lead with the Nagandel Bisharp lead. I feel like that should be okay. Bring the Rilla in the back. I'm going to leave the Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh does really nothing for us here. I think Grimms, I, I think uh, Landorus can do a lot more than Ho-Oh can. Especially in this situation against the, the Groudon. Yeah. Yeah. To start it off, we won't bring Ho-Oh even though this is like the Ho-Oh team. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a lot of modes that we don't have to rely like entirely on our restricted mod. It's just knowing when to bring it. And today is not the situation to bring Ho-Oh. I don't feel at least. That plus the Ganadel. What what are these mods? Okay, so they're leading Boom Balloon. Interesting. Because this is still kind of a good situation for us. Like, yeah, whatever. They're going to outspeed the world, but we have Sucker Punch later. It doesn't actually make too much of a difference. They have to make the decision, like, who do they want to KO here? Not KO, who do they want to fake out, right? They can't Strength Zap either one of me. So I think this is a pretty good opportunity to just go for the Sludge Wave. Go for the Assurance. Worst case scenario, I go for Sucker Punch next turn. It's not too big of a deal. They're going to go ahead and fake out the Naganadel. Doesn't want to get Sludge Waved. Interesting. Is going to set up the Tailwind. This also means... That, unfortunately, this assurance isn't going to be double damage. It should still hurt. Oh. 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 <laughs> what a way to start off the game, folks. I don't know if that's good, though. It, sh it could be fine. I mean, it depends on who they bring in here. If they bring in the Groudon, I'm terrified. Which they will, right? They had no... Oh, Reggie Lucky. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to Sludge Wave again. Should I just go for the Sucker this turn? Whatever happens, Regilucky kind of low-key has to attack. And I kind of want to be first when it does attack. 
Unless Reggie Lucky takes a turn to swap, who knows? Sucker is risky though. I'll just double down into a Lucky with an assurance. I do still have my sash intact. I don't have to be. Oh, this is good. This is good. Because if they go into ground on here, that's perfect. That means I was able to get the attack off. Unless they just double down to my bishop, then I'll be very sad about it. Xeroid! No Groudon? What is happening? Sledge Wave, I am still gonna outspeed. Okay, this is big. I'm still outspeeding the Rillaboom. That's good damage. Not a, not enough to take it out. Definitely a Sol Vested damage there. Got the poison. Okay, so I get to counteract the Grassy Terrain as they go for the U-turn on my Bisharp. I don't take that, unfortunately. Interesting that they're swapping that much. I, I mean... Double pivot turns. They didn't bring the grout on, so I'm kind of in an okay situation here. Back comes the Reggie Lucky. Um, I feel like I should be more worried than I am. I do have my own Rilla. Yeah, I think Rilla's the answer here. Give me that fake out turn if I have to. Also, give me that grassy terrain if I have to. And I think I am going to grassy glide right into Zeroid here, who doesn't have the sash because he has like one HP. And I'm going to hard swap into this Landers in case there's uh there's a potential switch happening there. This grassy glide should still really hurt. You have to remember things like Nagan. This not Nagan. What was what was that called? Nihilego. Things like Nihilego don't have a lot of defense. And I have to switch out of the Naganadel because I don't want to be locked onto Sludge Wave right now. Because then I'm just going to do so much damage. Reggie Lucky protects! Big. Is this a double protect? It is a double protect. That's fine. Because they just wasted their last Tailwind turn. I still have two more turns of Grassy Glide, I believe. But they now potentially have their Sash up. Let's do this. We'll go for the Grassy Glide on Reggie Lucky. And then we'll go for the Earth Power on the Nihi Lego. It's crazy how both of us didn't decide to bring a Restricted Mons to this battle. But thankfully we got rid of their Tailwind for now. That's really good damage on Reggie Lucky. Not gonna be enough to knock it out. Does go for the Volt Switch onto the Rillaboom. Does absolutely no damage because of Assault Vest. Um, this is gonna be the now the switch into their own Rillaboom, which does give us does give them like fake out pressure, which is a little bit irritating, but Gorithmic. <laughs> These are funny names. Oh no, Meteor Beam. Does this knock out? Where are you going for Meteor Beam on? This could be very bad. Does this knock out Landorus? Oh no, you bet it does. Okay, that's like horrible. I really needed that Landers to win. I didn't think that was going to KO me. <laughs> Not going to lie, but I guess it makes sense. It's neutral. They have a fake out turn here. They're tailwind Peters now. Oh, I thought it, I thought it Petered last turn. Not that it mattered, though. They were still going to naturally outspeed me. Anyway, Naganto can come in here. <sighs> what should I lock myself onto now? It's kind of an awkward situation. I guess Flamethrower is my best bet. Hmm. I have to Grassy Glide there. I don't have a choice. They're gonna go fake out onto the Naganadel. Okay, at least I do get the Grassy Glide off here. Onto their Nagan- uh, Onto their uh, Nihilego. It's as much damage as I could possibly do. They're gonna go with the Sludge Bomb. That's gonna easily knock me out. Oh no! I could still win here. I need this Rillaboom not to have anything for Naganet though. For me to potentially squeeze out this victory. Right? Um. I need this Rillaboom not to have high horsepower, which is the awkward situation, because they almost always carry high horsepower. But I also need them to miss. 
Actually, I can ignore Naganadel. What does Naganadel do to my knee? My. Ugh, I keep getting confused. What does Nihilego do to my Naganadel? Right? I'm just gonna go for the, the Rillaboom here. Because they could carry Rock Move. And if Nihilego is gonna go for Meteor Beam, it takes them two turns, right? It'll take them two turns. Oh, and they waste one of them. That's big. Hold on, Naganadel. Don't count Naganadel out. Great damage. Gonna be able to knock it out. Give me that beast boost, baby. Okay. Okay. Who do we attack here? Oh, do we attack the Aleki? That only has electric moves. But can outspeed us. Or do we attack the Xeroid? Who has... Only has rock and... The thing is, Xeroid can't protect this turn. This might be our this might be our way to KO it. Without Aleki potentially going for protect there. I'm going to go for Xeroid. We're at plus one. Aleki is going to go for the Thunderbolt. Don't do 50. I can't live another one. And I'm parried! No! That para meant everything! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, dumb status conditions keep holding me back. Okay, we gotta get him the next one, boys. We have to. We're against a rain team with a lot of priority protection with the Queenly Man Majesty and the Psychic Terrain. Interesting. Um very interesting how do we how do we deal with this i mean we're definitely gonna have to bring the rillaboom this might be another game where we leave ho-oh behind to be honest um i do like the naganadel bisharp lead they do have a lot of things on their team weak to poison with absolutely no resistances to poison so it would low-key be pretty all right bring the rillaboom in the back maybe a grim snarl just to set up some terrains but then after that what do i really do let me check my moves before i make a decision I have Taunt, Spear Brick. Okay, I guess Spear Brick could help lower their special attack damage output. Also, it would give us a Fairy Typing for the Urshifu, which could be either Dark or Water. I don't see myself needing the Landorus too much. I also don't see myself needing the Ho-Oh too much. So let's just go with those four. I am nervous, though. If they just leave with a Torn Ogre, I could be in danger. Oh, copycat. <laughs> we have the same trainer. Trainer card. All right. What do you lead? Show me a torn ogre. There it is. Wow. Man, I can't really complain. It is the best play for them. We do have Sash intact, so no matter what this turn does. We should theoretically be, ge be getting a KO on the Kyogre, which is all I really care about. So let's go ahead, go for the Sludge Bomb, go for the Assurance onto the Kyogre, and let's get ourselves a KO. Kyogre is going to want a Water Spout. Fine. We have to be careful with our Sucker Punches, because they could easily swap in to a Psychic Terrain or swap into a uh, Queenly Majesty to stop those from happening. So... Let's protect before we sucker punch. Just so we can kind of scout a little bit. There's the Tailwind. We still outspeed Kyogre through Tailwind. That's good information to have. That means that's going to be a bulky Ogre, isn't it? We do get the Poison, which is nice. Double Poison, baby! Payback for last game! Kyogre goes for Earthqua. Hello? What world am I living in? That did nothing! What just happened? <laughs> Pokemon question mark? In my seven years of playing competitive VGC. That's the first time I've ever seen an Earthquake on a Kyogre. Wow. <laughs> In comes Serena. 
If we outspeed Kyogre, we outspeed Serena. Let's go for the second Sludge Wave. I can't Sucker Punch. Ooh, I really wish I could. I'll go for the Assurance onto the Serena as well, because I do want the Serena to go down. I'm I'm still I'm still baffled after that first turn. I'm also baffled how little damage it did. <laughs> Just in general. Tornadus is gonna protect. That's actually very good because I was afraid of the hurricane. I am still outspeeding the Serena. I'm gonna go for the sludge wave. Now let's see if it's a Solvested or not. Could be. High jump kick into my Bisharp. Okay. Bisharp's gonna go down here. So be it, right? Now I can put myself into a little bit of a better situation. I wanna bring my Grim Snarl on the field. Then this way I can start setting up my screens. I think. I think since I outspeed Serena, I don't have to set up Reflect right away. I'm gonna keep Sludge waving. Oh, Grim Snarl's not gonna appreciate that though. Oh, well, it'll be a double KO for me. I'm going to light screen here. One, because it'll reduce the damage that I take from this uh, sludge wave. And two, because I think Tornadus can still go for Hurricane and outspeed me in its tailwind. And I want to try to eliminate that much damage. Like, I, I want to eliminate my Naganadel going down, right? I don't want it to go down this turn. In fact, if I get the double KO here, that's a lot of beast boosts. Withdraws Torn. Oh. Oh, you're not gonna like this sludge wave, huh? Are they not Queenly Majesty? Is that why they decided to go for the uh, Psychic Surge? Who knows, but I just went for a light screen. You can't stop me from doing this priority! You can't stop the Grim Snarl! Incoming sludge wave! Uh, Sayonara, maybe even my own Pokemon. Ooh, no, actually I only did half to Grim. Does get the poison on Grim, a little unlucky. But Lele can't stop us. Give me that beast boost. Lovely. Um, the Tailwind is up, I believe, this turn. The only issue with me just spamming Sludge Wave is, like, everything I have left is weak <laughs> to Sludge Wave. <laughs> okay, Torn. Guess what? Torn's not touching the ground. So we just take this opportunity to taunt it now so it can't uh, go for any more Tailwinds later. Battle was cancelled, gonna give us the GG, Naganadel carrying the heck out of that game. Not bad. Let's see if we can use Ho-Oh this last game though. <laughs> Very terrifying team. Very fast team that Jose is bringing here. Whoa, okay. But we got ways to deal, I believe. And honestly, I mean, I've been doing this the last three games, but I think Naganadel Bisharp is our best option here. So let's stick to it, you know? Let's stick to it. And I think, um... Rillaboom could be okay. Just for that Milo. Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking at the, the matchup. And I'm like, yeah, we don't need Ho-Oh -Oh again. Maybe next episode we'll get to use Ho-Oh, -Oh, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm definitely looking at Rillaboom. And I'm looking Landorus, too. I know Grimmsnarl did a lot that last game. But we'll leave it on the sidelines. Let's go ahead with Landorus again. Landorus didn't really get a time to shine here, so let's see that if we can actually use it in this battle. Nice trainer card, dude. <laughs> it's the basic one. Which leads me to believe my opponent's actually very good. They're just on a different switch. Miensha, Reggie Lucky lead. That's terrifying, to be honest. Uh, fake out, I can't prevent. I mean, all I'm going to do is Sludge Wave here and Protect. Protect could be good because maybe they decide to go for High Jump Kick or Close Combat onto that Bisharp spot. And I also want to preserve my Sash for as long as I can, right? See if I can get some free damage off. They do go for the Volt Switch onto the Bisharp, trying to pro- And no Fake Out here either. Which means we are going to get a Sludge Wave off. This is big. 
This is really good. I was worried about fake out. Look at that damage. Close combat also into Bishar, biggest protect in the world. Not even bad. Now we can go for Sludge Wave again, followed by the Sucker Punch into a Leki. And that should be a double KO for us, no matter what happens. Unless they do a switch, right? We can't prevent switches, but... Um, if they keep both these mods on the field, Naganadel outspeeds Man Shao. Easy KO with the Sludge Wave. Followed by the Sucker Punch onto a Leki. Double KO. That's how you do it. One Protect wins you the whole game, folks. Sludge Wave. I just need two mons. Naganadel and Bisharp. <laughs> That is wild. I have not taken damage yet. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. What next? What now? In comes the Calyrex. I'm not worried about you. And Landorus? Calyrex has to protect you, right? There's no way Calyrex attacks. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave again, and I'm going to go for the Assurance onto the Landorus spot, because Calyrex has to protect. Calyrex went for Trick. I guess that's just as good as protecting. Who's he tricking? He gave me Choice Scarf. Thank you? I'm so confused by that play, because guess what? Now, I outspeed the Landorus on the Assurance. And that's a dead Landorus. And guess what now? <laughs> Since I got double scarf, and I'm locked onto a Sheriff's. <laughs> it's a dead calorie. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay. We take those. Um, this team is fun. Let's get you guys that run though. And there you have it, folks. Uh, we're going to definitely be playing this team some more on the channel just because I feel like there's a lot of Pokemon today that didn't really get the chance to shine and I want to showcase them, like the one that I'm covering right now, the Ho-Oh. Um, but yeah, this team is super fun. Just the Bisharp plus Naganadel is so off meta, so weird. No one prepares for it. And I feel like they're both in a really good place so that now that Dynamax is gone, they can kind of sit there and benefit from it being gone. Um... I don't know what else to say. This is a really fun team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, take the rental code, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Welcome, Poke Sports. And yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another battle. Have a great night. Peace out.